Hi everybody, this is Joanne, and you may recall a few months back that I reviewed the book called Mad Science by Theodore Gray. Um, experiments you could do at home, but probably shouldn't. Um, I'm very happy to announce uh, the publication of a new book by him, which is an extension of this beautiful piece of work that he did, um, which is essentially the periodic table with images of the elements in the individual boxes uh, where the name, uh, the in, uh, abbreviation of the elements are usually placed. Um, and it's just this beautiful, beautiful artwork. And uh, I'm really glad he was able to expand upon this concept and create this book called The Elements, a visual exploration of every known atom in the universe. Beautifully done, beautiful images. You can tell already by the cover that the inside is going to be full of wonderful surprises. So what he did was to take an image of um, the element in its native state, or in some form that we can recognize it, and uh, place that on one uh, page of this picture book. So here we're looking at gallium, which is element 31, and we can see here that it's uh, solid and liquid uh, almost at the same time. So, um, so unlike mercury, which is liquid all the time, gallium can transit between the two um, depending on the temperature, so it is a metal that can melt at slightly higher than room temperature. The other side of uh, the two-page spread happens to show uh, the uses of gallium in everyday life and has a few paragraphs describing uh, essentially what's, uh, what this element is all about. And then of course we have our essential data that we would expect to have uh, with the periodic table of the elements. Very interesting. And then I'll just quickly show to you uh, two other um, elements. The other one um, I chose because it's a uh, an example of uh, Theo's um, basic uh, uh, sense of humor. Here's gadolinium, which is uh, element number 64. Um, and then here's the page showing it looks like we've got some contrast agent here. And as it turns out, uh, gadolinium is a contrast agent for the MRI. And it says here, gadolinium compounds are highly paramagnetic, a property that causes them to be injected into humans. So it's a perfect contrast agent because it is metallic but yet is not susceptible to the pull of a magnetic field that you would encounter in an MRI machine. So naturally we don't want metal things to be ripped out from inside of the body while you're in the MRI machine. So this is all a lot of fun and interesting uh, information. Um, and then when it comes to some elements that have a lot of uses and that we're more familiar with, he spends a little more time on them. So here is lead, element 82. And instead of merely having just one page information, he goes ahead and he has um, three pages. An image of lead crystal, and then more images of the various uh, things that lead is used for. Uh, this book is absolutely wonderful. It make a wonderful coffee table book um, and just great information in um, a concise, compact form. I love these kind of books. They're a good way to uh, make science really fun and present you with very important information. All right, thank you so much.